Welcome back, I'm The Watch King. On this video, we're gonna talk about a one watch collection, how to do it right in my opinion, so you don't get sick of the watch. And this is really why Rolex is king, because no other watch brand, uh, in my opinion, can do this, like Rolex can. So let's hop straight into it. Right into it, we're starting with the day date. Now this is a stand-in for anything. Date just, anything I would say in the 90s and before. I mean, you could still do this after the 90s. There's no problem with it. It, it happens a lot with the Milgauss. Uh, but at the same time, I, I always say like, a 90s and before it's the easiest to do right so how do i say this is a one watch collection or any watch like this like a day chest right well you have a dial and you have a bezel and you have the case and bracelet so let's say you get sick of this watch because i mean it, it's to certain people's taste that string dial i like it a lot i think it looks cool but let's say you get sick of that and instead of buying a new day date, which a lot of people might do, like the day date collectors out there, and there's nothing wrong with doing that, but to save a ton of money, let's say you go and you get this. Now, this particular example I'm showing you right now, I don't wanna mess with, too, mess with it too much because of, it has all its, there you go, right? So this is an original black dial, for the day date, you would get it in this exact watch, right? Uh, and th this is a yellow gold model uh, because you can tell with the text on the day date there. Beautiful. It's actually pretty, it's a rarer. I don't want to say it's a rare because I don't like saying things are rare. The string dial is actually rare. The black dial, a lot of dealers like to say it's rare, but it is still a stunning dial. I like it a lot more in champagne. But let's say you wanted a champagne. Uh, on the side or whatever, whatever you want it, right? You could get a dial, change it out, and then you have a brand new watch. Now this particular example that I used uh, right here is a factory dial, right? But as long as you keep, like this is the original dial for this watch, right? This is how it came from the factory. So as long as you keep this dial, you can change it out with an aftermarket one. And this is what I recommend to a lot of my clients. I mean, I had a guy change his Yacht Master, wanted to change it four times in a matter of a couple years, right? So I just told him eventually just get dials and change them out when you get sick of it. So that's the number one thing, how to make a watch, basically a one watch, a complete collection. Another thing is, uh, the bezel, right? This is a special bezel made for the Date 836. This particular bezel is actually really nice, uh, would be considered very nice, all natural diamonds. Now, this is not to my taste. I think the dial is enough to move, but some people like a diamond bezel. There's nothing wrong with that. And of course, again, as long as you keep the original bezel, which it comes out, I mean, Rolex is meant, you can pop it out and that's, it's something that's fine you will keep the value of the watch. So it, that, that's the biggest concern when I talk to clients about dial changes or whatever the case may be. Uh, so that that's that. Um, if you have any questions or looking for this or any other vintage watch, definitely email me down below. This was a short one today, just explaining how you can make your uh, watch feel brand new without getting a new watch. So I wanna thank you all for watching and I will definitely catch you in the next one. Have a great day.